been is that can you hear me better with it if i get kind of close okay um i've recently returned from i've made 12 trips to across the country in the past 12 months to solve family problems and people dying in those things and so i just came back from another one of those two week trips very tough trip and so well, my sister and i did and we're not close to her, been working on our mom's house I'll just, I'll read you this poem that is not funny, but it's really kind of funny in a bad way. <laughs> okay. All, the title is All of Those Pre-Printed Name Address Labels. Everywhere, inside of book covers, in the front of books, on the bottoms of 50-year-old Tupperware, on the backs of photos, on purses, pockets, suitcases, Bibles, furniture, soles of shoes, bottoms of clocks, pencils, 450 glass ceramic metal and cloth elements, everywhere, all labeled. This is his first name, his last name, but her stuff. And they're both actually gone, so it's okay that I'm saying. Yet there's no identity of her. It's all this is his first name his last name. Are all of these labels proof that my mother once existed before she died and left all the label stuff to me?
the sea, freely and left to nature's choice. When there remains only the rich aroma and the dripping tears, the melting salt, touch soft and white, before the slow decay returns life to itself. This. Well-earned gift for all you endure. 
and will wipe away the chains that bind and restore here at Fluster and your shine. The dragon said, I cannot repay this gift in kind. And I said, tis not necessary to vanquish your demons as an honor of mine. But if the day should ever come that a chance exists that we may be one, I'll gamble that no matter the risk. For no greater prize does exist. I would move heaven and earth just to hear you say you love me and you want me near. Sorry to have arrived a little late, but I was out here in time to hear all, most everything, and I really enjoyed it. So, we all like to be appreciated, and uh, I had a lover who appreciated me very much, but you know, well, you just listen to the poem, and sometimes more than enough appreciation, maybe a little more than you want. <laughs> Blue ribbon butt. The other day he told me, the other day you told me that you've got friends online, like yourself, admirers of the feminine behind. You'd like to send a picture to tell them of your bliss. I thought about it, briefly, and I have to tell you this. This is actually lyrics to a song. <laughs> you can tell them I've got a bountiful behind, that whenever I bend over, you nearly lose your mind. You can tell them I've got a blue ribbon butt and they'll have to take your word for it because there'll be no candid shots. Tell them how your knees get weak when you watch me walk away. The wicked way it warms you to see the swing and sway. How much fun you're having when you're all alone with even honey bunch, my honey will stay paparazzi free. <laughs> you can tell them I've got a beautiful behind Whenever I bend over, it nearly blows your mind. You can tell them I've got a blue ribbon butt, but they'll have to take your word for it because there'll be no candid shots. You know, I love to please you when we're all alone, but there will be no pictures of my batacle zone. <laughs> Danielle is tricky. Danielle is tricky. Starving children are a hell of a motivator. Tomorrow at 7 a.m., a meal will go and eat. Hands that would rather hold a ladle will grip a stick instead. A child's empty stomach haunting them as they're in bed. Tomorrow at 7 a.m., they rise unbeaten. Teachers, lunch ladies, and everyone in between, working so hard that it makes me want to scream. Washington Supreme Court has said that education is a must, but the school boards and superintendents are making quite a fuss. Months and months and months go by, a contract we demand, and now on the eve of education we're told that there is no plan. So, work without a contract. What does anyone think of the children? The school needs the money. Don't you want to help? And the teacher replies, fuck you, pay me. They have to pay the coach. Sports, uh, sports start tomorrow, but learning ain't. Danny said she gets a hundred submissions about how a bunch is falling apart. This is how you fight the paint, fight the taint. This is how you do your parts. Feed a child, pay a teacher. Amen. If I can for a second, there's a strike starting tomorrow, basically all across Clark County, looking for 15% pay wage uh, for teachers, 30% for support staff, including lunch ladies. Uh, the local school boards have been blocking the raises, even though the state legislature and Supreme Court has ordered it to be so. So please call your school board and give them a hell of a lot of and she does have on her red for it. She has on her red for it. I'll keep doing it. I wrote this for my dad. It's called Berries for Pa. No food on earth could ever smell sweeter or mean more or taste stronger of his home than this. These wild, dark, buzzing berries. The juicy pulp of August desserts and jam all year at the table I miss to clutch within scratched family palms and smear between our summer lips. The shining eyes of their backyard and of his childhood sharp and quick, blinking at us in the sun, out of reach and laughing for it, tempting heaven to come closer. Mm -hmm.